license or registration? I don't have either of those. You know what smells like weed in here? That's strange, I don't smell anything. Okay. What is your name? Uh, Canada Sky. You sure that's you? Why would I lie about my own name? Okay, Canada, get out of the car, you're under arrest. What, why? Well, you have a warrant out for public indecency, grand theft auto, aggravated assault, and evading police. <clears throat> Yes. Would you like me to refresh your memory on what you did? Please. You got naked, stole a moped from a nun, drove it through the window of a Tim Horton, stole all of the Tim bits, bitch slapped an undercover cop on the way out, and have been on the run since Wednesday. Mm hmm Right. Do you have anything to confess? I have weed in my pocket. I know that, David, from when I pulled you over 10 minutes ago. Did you? Maybe sober up a bit before driving off this time? Okay. Good call. to you by cats i got a secret a secret yeah a secret is it a big secret yes what is it debbie boinked kyle what the fuck dude i know right debbie debbie yeah my debbie you're on faithful ass wife debbie that bitch mm-hmm how dare her how dare her sleep around on me under you behind you beside you i'm gonna go show this loser who's boss scoundrel i'm gonna punch him right in the mouth and kick him right in the mouth and spit on him right in the mouth and then you know what i'm gonna say to him what Kyle did this. Ooh, I like that. It's like he did it to himself. No, my name is Kyle. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm Kyle, you idiot. No way. God, you're a lightweight. Yeah, I am. Just lay there quietly and watch guys' grocery games. Okay. Hey, Kyle. What? Hey, got any big plans this weekend? I'll be doing your mom. Ugh, I wish my mom would stop having sex with all my friends. What? I keep telling her it makes me uncomfortable, but she doesn't listen. Dude, it's just a joke. So what's the punchline? Me throwing myself off a cliff to end it all? Good one. I'm not having sex with your mom. Why not? She's already porked everybody else. No, she hasn't. She has. I caught her with Derek last night. What? Sup? You actually had sex with his mother? Of course. Dude, that's gross. Hey, she's a nice lady. Who the hell are you? That's Brian. He was in there with me. We Eiffel Towered. <sighs> You guys are awful. Don't knock it till you try it. You're supposed to be his friends. Look how upset you've made him. <laughs> I'm not even sorry. It's mind blowing, dude. It doesn't matter. He's your friend. How mind blowing? World shattering. I met God. Holy hell. Oh, just go. Thank you. Mrs. Lincoln's mom, can I have a glass of milk? Hey, where were you yesterday? Oh, I had to babysit my niece while my sister was in the hospital. Weird, because your sister was at the party. Oh. And so was your niece. Well, this fell apart quicker than a two-day-old donut. You'd better have a good reason for skipping my birthday party. It's just that I don't like you. Like, I think you're a bad person. Plus, I'm irrefutably attracted to your smoking hot wife. Fundamentally disagree with your obsession over Nigerian polka music. Your kids make me want to give myself a bisectomy with a ballpoint pen. Your house somehow has potholes, and your coffee breath can clear my sinuses. So... Well, this backfired more than a candy cane shaped shotgun. Truce. Eat shit and die, Derek. <laughs> They're everywhere. How many of them are there? I counted six. Six? Yeah. Well, we can't stay in here all day. You know what needs to happen? Don't say it. Someone needs to go out there as a distraction so the rest of us can escape. That's suicide. Of course the guy with nothing to live for suggests someone give themselves up. Screw you, John. I call it like it is, Mark. There's no fighting in the hiding closet. I may not have a reason to live, but at least my wife didn't cheat on me with Andrew. Hey. Well, what? That's his wife. That's old news, dude. Don't attack the man like that. Yeah, and they worked it out, didn't you, John? <laughs> Angie hit him with divorce papers yesterday. I'm so sorry. There's no crying in the hiding closet. Will you ease back, Jeff? His wife left him. <laughs> you know what? I think Marco's out there. All in favor, say aye. Aye, aye. 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 Damn it. Fine. You got this. Stay strong. I hope you freaking die out there. Hi, welcome to Home Depot. How can I help you? Come on, Kingsley, do your worst. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Very much so. <laughs> Take that. Good one. Yeah, there's more where that came from. But there wasn't more where that came from. In this, the fight of his life, Kingsley got his ass whooped so hard, it reminded him of when his Nana used to beat him with a pillowcase stuffed with old doorknobs. Hey, son, got a second to chat? Sure, Dad, what's up? I just really want you to know that I love you and I accept you for who you are. Thanks, Dad. No matter what, okay? Okay. So, like... 
If you're gay, you can tell me. The hell, Dad? What? I'm not gay. It's okay if you are. I'm not. You don't have to live in the closet anymore. John, he's not gay. Stay out of this, Lindsay. This is between father and son. Don't talk to my wife that way. Oh, she's your wife now. Uh, ever since the wedding, yeah. She's a beard and you know it. Hey, hey. You're telling me you've never had a wet dream about John Cusack. For the last time, it was Joan Cusack. Have you ever seen School of Rock? Nerdy and sexy. The full package. And not a dude. Don't be homophobic. Oh my God. Fine. Just breaks my heart that my son has to hide from the rest of the world. What was that about? He's just always wanted a gay son. That's actually really sweet. I know. You have a boner. I know. Joan Cusack. Wake up, it's time for school. <laughs> Two can walk for the shore if they want string together next chocolate. What? Pedal and wheel for live lemon bowl whip. Struck no light of palace, tree supreme, speak horse bravo. Am I having a stroke? As three cent pencil, Thorpe thick biscuit purchased nylon. Bird fan contract, Windex model of beer, intrigue and scooping lust. I gave snow ducking concept if that spoke of. Hey, what's up? Hey, just wanted to let you know I'm working a little bit longer than usual today. That's cool, man. Do your thing. All right, cool. Bye. One hour later. Hello. Hey, I decided to stop at the library and do some homework. No worries. I'll see you when I see you. Two hours later. Hello. I'll be another hour. I have a few errands to run. Why are you updating me? I didn't want to disrupt you and your girl. My girl? Am I supposed to have a girl over right now? Yeah, you're... Fuck, buddy. What? Yeah, this morning you texted and said you're gonna be enjoying your FB all day. <laughs> Football. Oh. Uh, you're a good roommate. Hey, the milk goes bad tomorrow. I'm gonna throw it away now, okay? That's weird, dude. Let it go bad first. I'll just save myself the trouble in the future and do it right now. What if in the middle of the night you wake up craving milk? Yeah, nothing quenches my thirst like dairy at 2 a.m. Shh, this is where the fun begins. You get to play the guessing game as to whether or not it's gone sour, right? You uncap it, sniff it. Mmm, <laughs> smells all right. Sip, sip, sip. Oh, heaven in a bottle. You telling me that's far-fetched? How drunk are you? Practically sober. Don't look at me in that tone of voice. I don't get paid till Friday, but I want my paycheck now. Well, that's not how it works, okay? Start a budget, commit to it, save up, live within your means. It's really simple. Just one month of financial management and strategy is enough to escape the chaos. Shape up, Kevin. Hey, Dad, what's the meaning of life? Forget the other sex, acquire currency. Oh, why? I don't know, I've just been thinking a lot lately. You know, I feel like there's only two options. Either life means something, right? Or life means nothing. And honestly, both of those things are very unique and special in their own right. So frankly, I don't care which one it is. You're a weird kid, Dave. And you're an alcoholic, Dad. I'm not your dad. What? Order for Carl? That's me. Um... Is something missing? Well, my order's here. Plus two, four, six, eight, ten, four, five, six, seven, 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 seventeen hash browns? <laughs> uh-huh. Why? Not because they're dope. I agree that they're good, but I'm not going to eat 17 of them. Oh, so you don't want them? No! I, you've got to take them. I most certainly do not. No, I, I can't take them, so if you don't want them, you got to throw them away. Why did you give them to me in the first place? Because I thought that's what you ordered. I'm one dude with diabetes. How am I supposed to polish off a pound of greasy carb slabs? You ordered them. You're incompetent. Thank you for shopping at Walgreens. <laughs> do you smell that? Smell what? It's either weed or a skunk, I can't tell. <laughs> yeah, I wonder where that's coming from. The day is good. <clears throat> so then I wrapped an extension cord around my teddy bear's neck, plugged it in, and sprayed it with a garden hose. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> oh, sorry, I gotta take this. Hello? Hello, is Gene there? Uh, no, this is Christopher. Sorry, I meant Dean. I'm looking for Dean. Well, this is still Christopher. Please, it's urgent. I think Dean is in serious danger. Oh, Dean! Yeah, he's tied up in my basement. I'll go get him. One second. Anyways, yeah, so it's around that time that my therapist diagnosed me as a pathological liar, but what does he know? You don't have a basement. I don't have a therapist either. What of it? Do you have Dean? <laughs> Dude, don't look, but that girl over there is checking me out. Ooh, what'd she look like? Tall, redhead, glasses. Nice. Mouth open. What? Eyes squinting, arms stretched out. Oh, she's waving at me. Hi. Dude, she's yawning. <laughs> 